hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a fabulous tuesday y'all know i love a try on video i love a haul video on this channel and that is what we're doing today we're doing a depop haul and try on video pretty self-explanatory i'm going to be styling all the pieces that i got showing you what i got who i got it from everything like that but before we get to all that i'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button red button says subscribe i'm gonna need you to hit it uh we have a lot of fun here on my channel doing makeup beauty skincare fashion food really everything so there's no reason why you shouldn't subscribe and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up both of those things would really help me out and i would really appreciate it so without further ado let's just get into this depop haul <laughs> Okay, so the first piece is this extremely fabulous 80s obnoxious blazer. Um, you guys know how I feel about the 80s. I'm so into them right now. So like the tackier, the better. And it doesn't get much crazier than this jacket. I'm obsessed with the shoulder pads. It gives such a good like shape to me. It goes down to about here. So I've paired it with a little pair of white shorts um, and then belted it with a gold belt because it has this like gold piping to it right here so I wanted to accentuate that I'm obsessed with this piece it really doesn't get any better it was such a good price too it's from the shop Casper 999 and I got it for $21.25 and it was on sale this shop has so many fun things that are so up my alley so bright obnoxious I love it and this jacket was perfect like every color in it is so 80s like something about this this greeny blue and this pinky purple like everything about it is so 80s and i'm obsessed i love it let me know what you think coming at y'all live from post-production in my messy bedroom with my cup collection um there's some construction going on at my house right now so in the next few clips there's this really obnoxious like buzzing kind of ticking noise um it eventually goes away but it is happening in the next few clips just warning you ignore it okay hello we're back my camera died so i actually just ran to walgreens in this little outfit and the piece i got from depop is this amazing orange clutch this is not a clutch this is a mini bag hannah it is in great condition i've never seen uh, a coach bag in these two colors and coach bags are so in right now the mini bags are they are coming back with a vengeance so this is from the seller, AAAAAA98. <laughs> and she actually has really awesome bags. Um, she's a curated, mostly bag seller, I believe. And this was 80 bucks. And you may be thinking, wow, that's a lot for like a used coach bag. But like coach bags have been selling on Depop for like 140 bucks. So I think this was a really good deal really great condition i love it i have a lot of outfits it's gonna go with um yeah i thought it was so cute with this little top and the pink earrings i had a little yellow mask it was all sorts of good um i love it and i love this bag okay the next pieces are this incredible suit set that i got um new with tags i'm pretty sure i got both of these items for like 10 bucks so this is the jacket i love it it's just a really light fabric perfect for a summer blazer and then the bottoms are this maxi skirt i <laughs> uh, can't really see the full thing but it is a little bit too small for me unfortunately but i wanted to show you guys anyway to get the whole vibe of the outfit it's like a very 90s suit set so i really really like it i mean like it fits me it's just not very flattering you know white's a dangerous color but i mean ten dollars the jacket was worth that ten dollars alone so i definitely am still happy with the purchase i got it from the account revival vintage at ali rosek yep and i got this for nine dollars and ten cents so i am totally okay with the skirt being a little tight because i am loving the jacket 
it's this little professional um i actually did a little diy headshot the other day in it i'll pop up my picture right here follow me on linkedin baby professional hannah coming at you y'all ain't ready all right we are throwing it back ladies and gents to the y2k with this bag so so iconic juicy couture brown velour with the chains like this is all i want to do with this i love it i love pink and brown together i love it with these sunnies um i'm just loving really all the vibes from this this is another one that i could pair with a lot of stuff okay so i bought this from I bought this from Sarita Chen, and uh, her tag is at Sarita G Chen, and I like am so happy I got this. I'm obsessed with mini bags, if you can't tell, and people are selling ones exactly like this for like a hundred bucks, and I got this one for forty. So definitely a good deal. I'm really happy with this. Great condition. There's like really no imperfections. I love it. Okay, we were in the early 2000s. Let's take it back 20 years. Let's take it back to the 80s. Back to the shoulder pads. Back to everything I know and love. This blouse really is the 80s blouse of my dreams. I think that's what she had labeled it on Depop. Um, the colors, it's those same colors as that other blazer I was wearing. Like the colors just scream 80s. I think this would just be so cute with like a pair of jean shorts. I don't know, it's so loud, I feel like it needs something simpler on the bottom. But you know me, I'm always looking for styling like tips, thoughts, advice. So if you have an idea for this incredible blouse, let me know. This is from the seller Meerkat95, and I got this for $15. So glad I got it. She has really amazing vintage on her shop, including this little baby, and I'm just happy I picked it up. I love how this pink looks on me too. Can you imagine with like bright pink eyeshadow too? Uh, how vogue. This shirt was my very first Depop buy and it's kind of what got me going down the rabbit hole of getting all this other stuff, but it's definitely one of my favorites. It is loud, it is obnoxious. It goes with old people pants, like everything about it I love. It's just a really bold houndstooth, cropped super short. I love this crop on me because I am a little shorty shorty so I think this um, like a really crop crop is good for my proportions I'm five foot like I'm short short we both know this is fabulous there's not really much I have to say about it but when I did see it on Depop my heart rate increased immediately at that moment I needed to figure out how to use Depop and then once I figured that out it's only been downhill since so this is from Melissa Tati's shop, and she's actually a YouTuber. I'll link her YouTube in the description box. Um, she lives in Canada, and she gets the best stuff. It makes me really angry and jealous because she finds the best stuff. And I actually saw her find this shirt in a video, and then I saw it on Depop, and I was like, <gasps> like I needed to have it. I paid $23 for it, which is kind of a lot for something that's from a thrift store but it is such a unique piece and I don't think I'll ever be able to find a piece like it again, so I had to get it. Okay, this is the last time I'm taking you to the 80s, I promise. So this is just such a cool piece. The reason why I've been really <laughs> into the 80s rather than I love the bright colors, the tackiness, I love just like being too much is because I am going to grad school, I'm starting to be in the professional world and I'm having trouble figuring out how to marry my personal style with like business style. And then one day, I don't know, I just had this this awakening. Just realized that 80s business style, the color blocking, the bright suits, like that is me. So that's why I'm just buying 80s stuff because it can be business, but it can be fun. So that's why this shirt is in my collection. She's um, missing a button, but I think I'm gonna take this little button and sew it down there. Problem solved, we are good. I love the collar that it's opposite and the checkerboard. It's just everything that I love. 
So I got this from the shop PS158, PS Studio, and she has the best curated vintage finds and she like organizes her shop really aesthetically pleasing. She has some really, really pretty things on there. So check her out for sure. Um, I kind of paid a lot for this baby. I paid 40 bucks for it, but it's again, it's just one of those pieces that you are never gonna find again. You're never gonna find anything like it again. I had it favorited for a while and I was like, eh, do I need it, do I need it? And then I was like, yeah, I need it. But I'm still really happy with the purchase. And this is actually my first time trying it on and I'm really loving it. Like make it business, pair it with um, some white or black slacks or I was thinking about my pink slacks with it. Like I think these on the bottom, that's so me. We all know that's me. So there you have it. That's my new business aesthetic. Okay, so I wanted to show you some of my favorites last. Let's start with these clips. These are incredible butterfly clips made out of recycled cans. They're just clips like that. And a pack of three. I got these from a shop called The Bond and she was so sweet, she gave me a discount on them. I want them in every color. She has them in other colors. She makes earrings, she makes everything. And I think they are fabulous. <laughs> The other day I had my hair half up, half down, and I wore one here and then one where I had the ponytail and it looked so cute. So yeah, I got these from The Bond. She has amazing stuff. And I got these three butterflies for 1080. And I definitely want to get more from her. There's like some yellow ones I think would be really cute, green ones, orange ones. I think the orange would look cute with, that, with the orange coach purse I showed you earlier. So yeah, I probably wouldn't wear two like this, but I wanted to show you guys. Just one is so cute. Okay, and then this is just incredible. I don't, like, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Yeah, it's picking it up pretty well, but it shifts from green to purple to blue. It's this 2000s chainmail vibe. The tag's still on it. It's vintage, it's dead stock. I'm, everything about this is so incredible. If you can't tell, little mini purses and shoulder bags are just they've been my jam recently and this one is amazing like i don't have to say it because you guys can see it with your eyes how cute it is and i got this from a shop called calico and she was 30 bucks i mean it's a brand new bag with tags and vintage and curated and just amazing in general so i think 30 bucks was definitely a fair price for this the movement <sighs> I don't want to say any more about it because you guys understand you get it all right guys that is all that i have for today's video but don't you worry because i already have more stuff coming in for another depop haul so get excited for that <laughs> i hope you liked this one if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was, what you think looked best on me, what you would rock, how you would style them. Let me know everything in the comments. <laughs> Don't forget to check out all of these Depop shops that I mentioned as well as mine. Um, I will link them all in the description box so you can find them easily. And that's all I have for you guys today. So stay on fleek, friends. Bye.